The cause is no longer the question concerning a handful of recent fires, all aimed at the same business. Authorities are now on the hunt for the serial arsonist who sparked them, the guy you see in the graphic over my shoulder, and they need your help. Maggie Vespa joins us live from the location of the first blaze near 22nd and Wilmot with this nine in your side crime watch. That's right, Guy, and this is the latest in a uh, long history here. Owners of K42 Tattoo to date are the victims of three major fires at their two locations, including this location behind me. You can see it's still boarded up. The first fire came in 2008, the second and third just in the last month. All three have since been deemed arson, and tonight both the owners and TPD want the person responsible to pay. After seeing his small tattoo shop suffer not one, not two, but three intentionally set fires, Nicholas Becker realizes his honest living is someone else's easy target. You're, you're a coward. You're an absolute coward. The coward taking aim? Police peg this man. Caught on Becker's own security cameras, he is believed to be the one responsible for the last two of three arsons, a streak that started in November 2008. I've seen all the, the charred you know, items, our paintings. You know, all the work that we put into it, that is heartbreaking. Following that first fire, Becker was bent on bouncing back, reopening this location and adding a second near Speedway and Alvernon. But last month, a devastating double deja vu. It's, it's broken my spirits. First, December 7th, an early morning fire sparks at the Speedway shop. Three weeks later, blaze number three, again at 22nd. Investigators deem them all arson, and this time, their sights are set. Think about it if you were in their position. Longtime customer Ayla Baker calls the crime and the culprit despicable. You don't like them. Do something productive with your own life to take your negativity out on instead of, you know, doing something to ruin somebody else's. An unexpected expert in the art of the reopen, Becker's business now operates solely out of the Speedway store. But the husband and father says the damage, more than $300,000 worth, has drained his family dry. And he wants these fires and this fear extinguished for good. What's to say this person wouldn't uh, put on fire a Wendy's or you know, a hair salon or the other type of people out there, you know, that, that aren't tattoo related. It's not just us. It's everybody. And TPD describes the man that you saw in those photos as a Hispanic or Caucasian male, approximately six foot one, 200 pounds. He may be driving an older model pickup truck. Anyone with information on these crimes asked to call TPD 88 crime, or you can call the owners at K42 Tattoo. That information will be up on our website, kgun9.com, in just a few minutes. Now, this person is obviously going to a lot of trouble to target this business. Do the right. police believe there's some kind of connection there? The guy, police and Becker both do believe there is a connection. They believe they may know who may be behind this, but this is the key part. They don't think this person is acting alone, and that's why they want the public's help tonight. Okay, Maggie, thank you.